Hello, welcome to the first video in a series of videos leading up to Easter Sunday. This week of Holy Week, we are going to be sending out one video a day with a different member of our staff talking about the Easter story leading up to our Easter celebration this Sunday morning. Now, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to be together on Sunday morning, um, which is what we really want to do. But since we can't, this is the next best thing. Hopefully these videos will be an opportunity for you to reflect and turn your mind on the death, resurrection, and one day second coming of our Lord Jesus. So today I'm going to be reading the story of Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem the week before he was crucified. This is Matthew chapter 21, verse 1 through 11. Now when they drew near to Jerusalem, and they came to Bethpage, to the Mount of Olives, then Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village in front of you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. And if anyone asks, if anyone says anything to you, you shall say, The Lord needs them. And he will send them at once. This took place what was fulfilled to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet, saying, Say to the daughter of Zion, Behold, your king is coming to you, humble and mounted on a donkey, on a colt, on the foal of a beast of burden. The disciples went and did as Jesus had directed them. And they brought the donkey and the colt, and they put on them their cloaks, and he sat on them. And most of the crowd spread their cloaks on the ground, and the others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. And the crowd that went before him and all that followed him were shouting, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And when he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred up saying, Who is this? And the crowd said, This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. So why was this such a big deal? Well, you got to know a little bit of the history. Me being your, our resident history nerd, I'm going to let you in on it. So what Jesus has just performed is actually a Roman ritual called a triumph. A triumph was reserved for a Roman general coming home from war after winning a great victory. They would come back into Rome at the head of a giant parade. People would cut palm branches off of trees and lay them in the road. They would lay their clothes in the road, and the triumphant hero would walk across them as he entered into the city. This was also the only time out of the entire year where a person was allowed to be worshipped instead of the Roman gods. So what is Jesus doing by coming into a Roman-controlled city at the head of a triumph? He's saying that he is the king and that he is God. Not only is he doing this, but he's doing this in Jerusalem the week of Passover. Today, that would be the equivalent of like lighting an American flag on fire on the front lawn of the White House on the 4th of July. That's how angry people were about this. Is it, think, imagine how angry you would be if someone did that. That's how angry people were when Jesus did this. The difference is that Jesus actually is the king. He actually is God. And what are the people shouting as he comes in? They're shouting Hosanna. Hosanna actually means, it's, it, it's a cry out calling for someone to save you. It, it literally means like, Lord, please save us. So not only is Jesus coming in declaring himself to be king and to be God, but the people recognize him as their savior. And they call on him to save them. So immediately after this, he actually goes into the temple. And this is the story where he flips the tables over and drives people out of the temple. You're probably familiar with that story. So take all this together. And this is when the Pharisees finally say, we have to do something about Jesus. By the end of the week, they're going to convince those same people who were calling him King, Lord, God, and Savior on Sunday. Those same people are going to be convinced to cry out, crucify him on Friday. Now, the book of John, chapter 12, verse 16, tells the same story. But, the, but verse 16 says this. His disciples did not understand these things at first. But when Jesus was glorified, then they remembered that these things had been written about him and that what had been done to him. See, what they didn't know while that was happening was that Jesus was going to be killed later that week, but that three days later he would rise again. And we have the benefit of knowing that. Now, on the other side of all these events, 2,000 years later, we can look back and know that, yes, he was put on trial. Yes, he was put to death. Yes, he was put in a grave. But we know that he rose again. And so this week, as we look towards Easter, remember that Christ died, Christ is risen, and Christ will come again. He is risen. Indeed, he is. And he lives within our hearts. Happy Easter.